everyone. Welcome. Happy Tuesday morning. Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, we are glad you found us. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb and Miss Rachel Langston is also an owner and craft educator here and she is the voice you will be hearing. She is my right hand, left hand. She's basically my whole body. <laughs> And I just have a little bit of a brain in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't do this without her. Oh, um, my goodness. It's true. It's true. Anyway, you're going to hear her voice. She's going to share some links with you all. Um, if you're nice to me, I will. Keep me accountable. <laughs> um, remind me of my shortcomings. <laughs> all, of, all of those things, yes. which I love. I would change nothing about it. But mm. welcome. We're glad you're here. Um, this week is actually Saturday kicked off our week long cricket joy activities. And so I'm excited to do this. This is going to be a beginner type project. We are using the Oak and Lamb cut file and we're going to be making a cute little Easter tag that you could put like on an Easter basket or an Easter gift or use for, um, place setting if you're having an Easter lunch or something like that, it will be really cute, but we are using our cricket joy. It will have craft board cardstock and vinyl. So lots of different things. If you are just opening up your Cricut Joy, then this is a really great beginner project because it will teach you about different settings and some different things with the Cricut Joy. With all that being said, do we have anybody here? Thank you, Miss Ann. Do we have anybody here who just got a Cricut Joy or has one and hasn't opened it, is curious about how to use it, please let me know because we have this amazing program. It's a course that is free to all of our flock members. It is called O&L Cricut Joy Academy. And it teaches you literally everything you need to know in order to be successful with your Cricut Joy. So whether you are a, if you're in a seasoned Cricut Explorer or Maker user and have your Joy and are afraid to open it, Get that thing out. Open this course. Look at it. We have a handbook that will help you with terminology. It will help you with um, map choice. It helps with so many different things. And then there's so many videos. And we can look at it. If there's anybody here and you want to see it, let me know. I can go to the website. We'll pull it up. Actually, we may do that in a little bit anyway when I grab the cut file. Um, but it's a great course. And it is free to all flock members. <clears throat> so if you... I really have no need for a Cricut Joy. Surely, yes. If you have an Explorer or Maker Series machine, we've said it from the very beginning, you probably don't have need for a Joy. Uh, the Joys are great. They are a little bit limiting as far as size restrictions. However, um, a lot of people have them. So we wanted to make sure that we covered how to use them, you know, some great projects for them and stuff like that. But yes, you don't need one if you have one of the other machines. You are absolutely right. Um, you don't have a cricket, Fred. Well, you should definitely, you should definitely change that. <laughs> uh, I know somebody who can teach you how to use it. I've had my joy for about six months now, but I want to learn as much as I can about it and all the things I can do. Micah, yes. Uh, look at that cute graphic, Rachel. Use the code Crafty for forty dollars off your first year. Do it, <laughs> Crafty, C R A F T Y, and you get access to that course as well as our other course, our entire library of cut files which I want to chat a little bit about. We have some members who were saying they couldn't find the cut file. So if you are here and you're having trouble finding the cut files, I'm going to share a screen share over in the private Facebook group too, just to kind of reiterate. But our, I think there's a little bit of a misconception about Facebook versus our website. I think a lot of people think that Facebook is our website or that Facebook is the entire internet and that you search everything there. I think there's some confusion there. Um, our website and Facebook are really not related at all, except for the fact that we do have a private Facebook group that you get access to with our membership. That's really the only connection. Uh, otherwise, the member-only content um, is, well, spoiler alert, it's going to be on the website in a month. That's Yay! my goal. It's already there. I just have to like add a couple more things. It's going to be on the website, so that'll be really nice. Um, the cut files and everything. So actually, Rachel, let's go to the website. Okay. We'll just try... Um, We'll just log in really quickly and make sure. So if you want cut files, you need to go to www.oakandlamb.com. Not on Facebook at all. Oakandlamb.com. And then you're going to sign in. I'll wait till you're signed in to switch okay. over. Just in case there's any private information. <laughs> okay. 
Once you are logged in, this is what it will look like, except you won't have this black thing up here. So you see courses, you see cut files, cut file requests, videos, contact, FAQ about us. So when you are looking for cut files, you're going to click right here where it says cut files. And then all of the cut files come up. So you can search from the cut files in different ways. You can search for specific words, if this will ever come up. Come on, buddy. In this right here. This is also cut files available for members only. Join now. Even if you're signed in, this is still here. I have to work on getting that off. So don't let that think that you're not logged in. Um, so you can go ahead and download your file straight from here and you can search. You can search specific categories. We have several. And then while we're here, I'm going to go and show you where that those courses are and then we'll come back here and download this file and we'll get started on the file. So if you are logged in, then you're going to go to my courses dashboard than my courses. And then at the top of my courses, there will be a little click for free member only courses. You're going to click right there. And then we have two courses we will be adding to this, but we have two free courses, the Cricut Joy Academy and the Cricut Academy. So both of them are available. You can go ahead and press get started. And then we have our handbook, printable joy handbook. So you can click there. And you can download the handbook, keep it, print it, keep it on your computer, keep it on your tablet, whatever you want to do. We also have all of the videos here and we'll just skim through them really quickly. We do have our welcome, the unboxing. So literally opening your Cricut and setting it up. What is design space? What do I need to look for in design space? What are the buttons? All of that. It's a very in-depth design space overview. We have Cricut Joy terminology, which is exactly what it sounds like uploading files and fonts, and then all the supplies you need. And then we go into projects. So we use smart materials. We use the foil tip. We use adhesive vinyl. We use iron on, we use the joy pins. We use the Cricut card mat and, and make a card. So everything that you need to learn Cricut joy is right here. So join the membership, grab that. Let's go back to cut files and we're going to grab this cute little carrot file that I think is really fun. Now you could use this if you have a laser cutter, you could use this file with your laser cutter and cut it out of MDF or acrylic or wood or whatever you want, but we are going to be using the joy. So we're going to click this. We could have just clicked, um, download now, or you can bring it up in its own page. We'll press download now. Then a little box will come up. You'll press this and it will go to our downloads right here. So let's go ahead and open up Design Space. Got to sign in here. I don't know if there was an update or not. Yeah, there Ms. was. Miss Diana said, let's show these awesome ladies some love and click that thumbs up button. Thank you, Diana. Hey, Rach, can you click off for a second? Okay. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Nikki, how are you doing? Linda said, I'm trying to decide if I need a joy. I have a maker and an explorer. You don't need a joy. Linda. Wait, is this Linda Lowry? Yeah. Linda, you may want it when you go camping. She said a joy might work fast, make, make, wow. A joy would make fast work of a card. I might need to make once in a while. Especially while you're camping. What if you make a friend at the campground? <gasps> That's true. I could see you doing that, Miss Linda. <laughs> they do have them on sale. $99. $99. Why is Design Space not working? There we go. Oh, is it being tricky today? It's being tricky. I am writing the beta version, so that's kind of my fault. It's taking forever to load. Hopefully she works with us. Okay, so we're just gonna upload and then drag and drop that SVG. Press upload again. Add to canvas. And then we just have to size this. There's nothing that we need to do to this. Now, if you wanted to make this a tag and that doesn't have like the hole right here, which you know, let's go ahead and do that. We'll do that for today. We'll say that it's going to be a name tag for a place setting, for instance. See, it already has the hole right here so that you could put in some jute <clears throat> or baker, <laughs> baker's twine or ribbon or something like that. But if I didn't want that there, then let's go ahead and ungroup this. And then we'll click this layer right here, come to contour, and we're going to contour out that hole just by clicking that, click off, and you can see the hole disappears. And then we're going to do the same thing for this carrot. Now, 
You can also do these pieces right here if you wanted to contour those out so that this was a solid piece, you can do that. That's an option, whatever you want. I think it looks cute either way. Um, we'll leave it like that, or should we? With or without the cuts? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to make this decision. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Oh no. What do you think? They're so cute. Uh, okay, we're leaving the cuts. Okay. Let's go back. We'll put the, we'll, we'll get rid of the, this one. We're gonna leave them. Okay, so now what I want to do is size this. So right now it is four and a quarter high. Actually, like that size, we'll leave it. Becca, Linda says, do you think the price will go down even more in the future? I think, I don't think so, no. Um, normally it's around $150, $160. $100 is pretty good. The only time that I would see that it goes down anymore is if you had like a coupon that you could add to it, which is very, very rare. Or if you had a gift card someone gave you or something like that, you could get it cheaper, obviously. But uh, I, 99 is the lowest that I normally see it. Um, the only other thing that I want to do to this is add a name to it. So to do that, I'm just going to layer this on top so that I can visually tell what I'm doing. And we'll select all the layers. And I want to just turn it so that I can see a little better. And then I'll zoom in. And we're going to put a name on this. Now, you can do several things here if you wanted to. Oh, maybe I should make two, Rachel. I was going to make it with vinyl, but now I kind of want to do a Cricut Joy pin. Ooh. Let's do the pin. Everybody knows how to use vinyl. Everybody nope. You know what I'm doing? What? Hold on. Your, your thinker's thinking. I think I'm going to do both, but I think I'm going to add like an accent or something. Maybe these right here could be, Ooh, that'd be cute. like metallic-y, maybe. It could look terrible. Let's see what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do to do that <laughs> is I'm going to duplicate this. So I can press Command C, Command V, or just Command D and that duplicates it. And I'm going to select this one. We'll contour out everything so that it's gone. And now I'm going to contour, but I'm going to contour the opposite. So I want these here and this gone. Does that make sense? I want that one. I want that one. Oh, I did it wrong. Come on, Beth. Beth said, ooh, pen is adorable. I know. Okay, so we have those. We'll put that there. And then I need to change this. This is basic cut. I need to change it to pen. So let me grab my Cricut pens. Now, Cricut Joy pins are different than regular Cricut pins. So think about that. They do not fit in the same. Cricut Joy pins. So you can show yeah. that Cricut Joy tool. pins are different. We have, this is a, just a Cricut pin. This is Cricut Joy. So you can see it's shorter. The bottoms look different. Um, I think they're, I, think, I feel like they are pretty much the same, but this right here is different. So it doesn't stay in the clamp the same. They did that intentionally. I'm trying to decide what color to put on cause the leaf will be green. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe just gold. Would gold be pretty on it or silver? So. Gold or mm, silver I'm might show up better. I wasn't Let's planning silver, to do yeah. this, Let's sorry. Do silver. silver, okay, so silver. So I'll grab that. And then um, I'm gonna show you a fun little trick over here because this is a pin, but I want it to fill in. I want the insides filled in. So first let's go over here and this is actually a metallic marker. So let's grab that marker one millimeter. Doesn't matter what color, but we'll change it to silver. You can see right here that it will leave a little bit in the middle that we would have to, to color in. And so to avoid that, I'm gonna do an inset. So I'm gonna fill this. We do this with fonts, we do this with designs, we do this all kinds of stuff. We have a, a whole member only video on this as well. So if you're a flock member and would like more education on it, look for that video. We can help you find it if you can't find it. Um, but we have this selected, I'm gonna go to offset and I'm going to do the reverse. So it's gonna be like an inset. So let's just do a tiny bit in here. Um, let me see what point 0.1 does. Negative point 0.1, excuse me. Let's 
It's not even doing anything. Let's do this. We're gonna make this a lot bigger. And then, there we go, apply. Pen, one millimeter silver. Okay, now with both of those groups together, I can make it smaller again and place it back down on there. And this should fill everything perfectly. I made it too small. <laughs> Good morning, Anita. How are you doing today? Okay. So now I want to attach this, so my silver pen, to this layer. If I don't do that, this is what it's going to look like. It will go to another mat. So my silver pen is here, and I want it to be cut out on this mat. So we have to attach. So with that grouping selected and the carrot leaf selected, I'm just going to press attach. Now what I want to do is insert a word. Uh, let's do Charlie's name. And let me find a fun font. Uh, what's that font I love? Is it rustic something? Rustic, yeah. Oh, she is cute. That's cute, but I might need something a little bit thicker. Mm, baby cakes. I don't know if I have baby cakes. Eleanor. Eleanor it is. And I like that placement. That looks good. I'm going to change this to white. And really quickly, for those of you who are new, if I leave this like this, can you see where we have overlap here? This overlap, see there's a cut line right there, cut lines right here, cut lines right here. That is normal, but if I leave that like that, then the vinyl is gonna be cut out. It's, there's gonna be a cut line there. There's going to be a cut line here instead of it being one solid piece. So what I want to do to make sure that doesn't happen is either weld or unite. Now watch when I do that. Those cut lines go away, and so it will all be cut out in one piece, which is exactly what I want. Now let's make sure I still have this sized at four and a quarter, I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and click make it. We're gonna have several different things here. Let's just look at the mats. This will be craft board. This will be vinyl. This will be cardstock. This will be cardstock and our um, marker. So that's exactly what I want. Press continue. We'll select our joy device. And then the first mat is vinyl. So we'll select, uh, I think it's, yeah, premium vinyl. Let's grab, I don't, I didn't have a little scrap of white vinyl. Can you believe that? Well, honestly, we use black vinyl. We use black more, more than, than white. We use yeah. white vinyl. Yeah. yeah. This is just Starcraft premium vinyl from 143. <laughs> we love it. It's phenomenal. It comes to us really quickly. It's very affordable. It weeds really well. It transfers very well. The whole drill, you all know. And we Becca, it. we have a wonderful friend, Maureen, here, and she's asking, what is craft board? Ooh, that is a great question. I'm going to show you in just a second. While this cuts, I can open up the craft board and show you. Uh, we like craft board a lot. It's basically a really heavy card stock. And I have some right here. I will show you. So this is blinking. It is ready. We'll go ahead and load this. And then it's measuring my mat and I'll press go as soon as it tells me to. There we go. Okay, this is craft board. Are you overhead or front facing? I'm um, overhead. Okay, this is craft board. It comes in several different things. It is by Cricut. It's one of the Cricut things that I haven't been able to find something comparable to, so we just keep going back to it. Um, we get the multi-pack. It comes with white, comes with like this craft paper brown color and black. And then you can also get just a whole pack of white, just a whole pack of brown or black. And then there's also some metallic jewel tones that you can get. But like I said, it is basically a thick, 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 heavy cardstock. I would say close to 120, 130 pound cardstock. There is no material setting in the Cricut Joy design space for craft board. They say it's not compatible. However, we use it anyway. And I'll show you how. Okay, unload. And then let me grab another mat really quickly so that I can leave this on the mat and weed. Next up, we have our orange carrot. 
I haven't ever used these mats. We'll see how it goes. These are from Amazon, right, Rach? Yep, they sure are. Okay. Let me grab some orange cardstock for our carrot here. That will be pretty. Cut a little bit out. And then I'll just bray this down to make sure it doesn't move on me. It shouldn't move because this is literally out of the package brand new. Using the medium cardstock setting here in Design Space. I don't know why I'm speeding through this like I'm rushed for time because I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> so let's weed this. Um, Charlie said, I must say, that Joy does look awfully adorable being so tiny. I do love it. It is so cute. It is so cute. Uh, Nikki said, how did you attach the marker part to the green part without moving them off the offset? She just attached. I grouped them together. The offset was actually an inset, right? Yeah. So uh, went, oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. I'll show you in a second. So do you mean selecting both of them? I went over into the layers panel and was able to select them. And I'll show you in just a second how to do that. Remind me, Rachel. Sure will. I'm gonna get all these cut and then we'll do it together. Um, okay, craft board. Cause you're using two mats at a time. I know. Wow. Put this on here. So like I said, there is no craft board setting for Cricut Joy. So I just use the heavy cardstock option. It will cut three times, it'll make three passes. And my experience has been that that is enough. If it's not enough, I'll show you how to fix that. So let's go ahead and load this. I'm gonna to continue to weed this one while that cuts. Grab this tiny little pin tool that I love for weeding itty bitty things. Oh, oh, oh. what? Diana said, okay, Lamb, FYI, they have Cricut Joy cutting mats at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, and several people have told me they're great. Stop it. Are you kidding me? You're kidding. Well, I'll have to look. $1.25. That's incredible. Okay. Oh, no. Where did the top of my eye go? Dad gummit. I've already thrown that piece away. Let's see if we can find it. Found it. Poor Charlie. Do you all do this all the time? I'm terrible about this. There's the little eye, Totter. Okay. Oh, sweetie Sassy. Or Micah. Sorry, I know your name. Let me see. You asked a question. Okay. Let's look right here. Right, we're overhead, right? Yep. So what I want to do, I'm not going to unload this mat. What I want to do is pick this up and just make sure that it cut. And it did. Now, if this had not cut, right, just switch over. There is this option, rerun. If I press rerun, it will cut it again so that it cuts exactly where it's supposed to be. But I don't need to, so instead I'm going to press unload. Now I have one more mat to do. Take this off. That cuts so beautifully. Let's find some green cardstock here. Ooh, I like that color. Oh, but that might look better with the, that one. Will look even better with that silver. No, I don't like it. This is the hardest part for me. No, I don't like. No, it. I don't. But the silver would look really good on that. We'll use this. We'll use this. Oh, Kelsey said, I agree with the Dollar Tree cutting mats. They're very sticky. I'm intrigued. Same. Okay. So we're putting this on. We're going to use the medium cardstock setting. And it tells us over in Design Space to load our pen. So it's going to do the pen part first. We're going to remove the cutesy little fine point blade. Put our pen in. And the difference, it's actually interesting. I don't understand why they do this with this one and not with the Explorer Maker Series machines. Because the Explorer Maker Series machines has that um, clamp thing that yeah. it clicks into. And it, you don't have to with this one. You yeah. would think that would be they like, would eliminate yeah, it. Consistent or, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Here we go. While that loads, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of transfer tape here. 
so that we can transfer Charlie's name over in just a second. Okay, we'll click go and it's going to write. And because we did that inset, we filled that, it's going to make two passes and it should fill the inside of those little lines that we made. It did, it looks amazing. Okay, so now we're going to remove this. We're not unloading the mat, but we're removing this, putting our fine point blade back in. We'll press go. You know, I was gonna use my ATG gun, but I think I'll use the um, art glitter, art glitter glue. Oh yeah. I held back it with his, helped, I did. His history project. <laughs> history project, And yes. used it on a whole entire poster board and I loved it so much. Okay, now we're gonna unload. Cricket Joy is finished, we can put her up. We don't need her anymore. I'm rubbing off on you, you're giving everything a gender. I know. She's so cute, she has to be a girl. She is adorable. Do you like that mat, Becca? I do. Good. Okay. So here are our, our pieces. See the little silver accent? That's cute. That turned out well. Love it. Then we have our Charlie name here. Let's go ahead and put some adhesive on here. Love this stuff. We'll put this on here. Micah said, is Becca speed crafting today? No, I no, don't know why. Not. That's the that's the method I do everything, which is ridiculous. We can make other stuff. Y'all want to make something else? What do you want to do? No. Have you guys done sublimation pens? We have. Nope. We have never. We have in the past used the Cricut um, infusible ink pens. They, I personally, I don't think there's a lot you can do with them. I think they're pretty limiting. Uh, I think regular old sublimation's a whole lot better than sublimation pens. It's just whenever I've used them, I just haven't, I haven't ever really been impressed. I well, am. just to be fair, unless you're doing things like Becca does so creatively with the pen, I'm not impressed with using pens either. I'm just not impressed with it. No, because print and cut is easier. Yeah, so it's kind of the same thing um, with the pens. Thanks for asking though. Does our Joy have a name? We have not no. named our Joy. She doesn't have a name. Do you all like to use adhesive vinyl on cardstock? I do. I think it looks good. It pops. Look, look how good that pops. Oh, I love it. That's adorable. Look how good look it transfers. Look at that. Look at that cute little name tag. I could die. It's adorable. That's I'm dying. So cute. It's so cute. Now I'm going to make a whole play setting with this. So cute. You know, it'd be super cute too if there was a little pot of a little dirt and you stick the carrot in the dirt and you pull it out with your name on it. Oh, how cute. That's adorable. Sometimes I have some good ideas. You do. You do. Christina, Our flock talk name. I loved that. You, Christina great. said, Becca, is today going better than yesterday? Oh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so funny. I talk about I say this a lot. I love this season of life I'm in. It's so very interesting. I feel like a lot of times I'm drowning. Um, can't keep my head above water, but I've never been happier. <laughs> it's so, and, and I said this, when, when you're walking in the calling that God has for your life, like no matter how stressful or overwhelming it seems, like you ha there's grace there. And... Um, God has given me lots of grace. So yesterday was, so Mondays are hard for babies, especially if you go to church and their schedule is all messed up and which we do when they are. So I always get all of the babies on Monday. <laughs> and they were both stage four clingers yesterday. Yeah. They were. You had one wrapped around you. Yeah. Yeah, I sure did. Becca, how did you know what size to make Charlie's name for the carrot? Okay, let's go back over to design space because there was another question I wanted to address. Um, so the carrot was right here. This is the exact size that it's cutting out. And so I just placed it on here and sized it to make sure that I like the size. If I had done it like this and pulled it over here, that's yeah. too big. Just like when if we I'd bring done it like in this, blanks yeah, in yeah. design space. Make sure that you're sizing the entire thing to what you want it to be. Yeah. 
Um, great question. But there was a question about, can you remind me exactly, something about the offset with this. How did I select? How did you get the pin to stay where it was on the offset without it moving off? Okay. So it's called the attach. I think that's what they were talking about. So we have this group right here, which is the original... Um, the original graphic, this is the original graphic, and then I made that inset, but they're grouped together, right? So I have them right here, they're both grouped together, and then to get it to stay on this particular layer, the green layer, then you're just going to attach. So I have this green tag, the carrot tag, this part right here selected, and now I have this part selected, so both of these together. And then I'm pressing attach. Attach is basically paper clipping it there. So when I do that, it will make it to where it doesn't move. If I, if I wanted to, for some reason, attach this here, then I could select it and attach like that. So that when I click make it, those pen lines are now gonna be on this part instead of this part. So whatever you attach it to is what it's going to be attached to. Did I answer that? I Let think, me know. I think so. Let me know if that's what you were asking because I definitely want to address that if so. Now, I'm just going to say, if anybody is, is a member of Oak and Lamb, you already have the Joy course and the original course. In the Joy course, there is a lot of great uh, videos in there and that design space overview is a really great one if you need to know kind of the ins and outs of what the buttons do and how to get certain cut files to work certain ways. Uh, so I honestly, if, you, if anybody needs a refresher and you're already a member of Oak and Lamb, grab, grab that course. And if you're not a member, you need to be. There you go. Sorry, my question was, have you ever done sublimation on blank pens? We haven't, no. Um, I've done blank, blank barrels and done like glitter pens glitter with resin. resin or a print and cut sticker that was like a full wrap and then done that. Um, I don't love, sublimation is a little bit difficult when you get into those different odd shapes now because we do have this sublimation oven and we have another mini one over here I'm excited to show you all. Um, you can like shrink wrap and do things like that. Also, is it Miss Mary who has that one fun tool that's specifically for pens and sublimation. I think we so. just personally don't do enough sublimation, especially yeah. on pens in order to, to do all of those things. Yeah. Um, I'm fully on board with buying a couple of sublimation blanks and doing them like in our uh, ovens for you all with some shrink wrap. I think that would be fun. Um, what roller are we using? Steph wants to know. Our but, amazing brayer. It's a Cricut brayer. Right. I love it. I have not found another brand of brayer that I like as much as Cricut. You, you all know I'm not a Cricut hater, but in general, I find products that are not Cricut brand because they're less expensive or they're just more functional. This is one that I cannot replace. It the ones is, we buy, we keep yeah. breaking. But or you push rough. down on them yeah. and then like the, the metal part like pushes out and the roll comes out. I love the Cricut brayer. Um, can you do shirts in a sublimation oven? I don't think I would want I, to. I think you need the pressure. You would fry that shirt. Yeah, I think you need the pressure to transfer it over. Yeah, I would I would think so. Yes. Dang it, Scott, I didn't know you were watching, Kat. <laughs> um, she was asking what you were drinking from Starbucks. She a, said, I'm craving a pistachio latte. Don't tell Scott he thinks I'm addicted. It's a pistachio latte with oat milk. It's my favorite right now. I love it. Um, I have eyes everywhere. Can I see the pen pen? You yes, absolutely. This is from... Oh, whoops, wrong camera. There you is go. Is this the tech wrap one or the Amazon one? They, they're, they're basically identical, the same. They're identical, so... Yeah. Look at this, Beth. Is it not the cutest thing ever? They have different colors, but I absolutely love it. It's actually... I like it better than the pen pencil. I do. I feel like it's a little bit smaller. Well, and it's cuter. It is my rank out. I love it. Um, what do you all want to chat about? We're done with the craft. So for those of you who were just coming for a craft and joy talk, we could still talk joy. If you have questions specifically, let me know. But um, we've done our job today. Yeah. Now let's chat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chat for a few minutes. We uh, filmed our flock talk. So we do have another episode of flock talk coming out on Saturday. I know that uh, several of you were concerned last week when we went live instead of flock talk. Yeah. We had lots of questions. Okay. 
Oh, no, all about the oh. Flock Talk that day, about where oh, Flock Talk yes, was or we why. Did. Could, yeah. Becca was like, well, hit him, hit me with him. Let's go. <laughs> um, it is cute, isn't it, Beth? I know. I know. Um, so we're going camping next week. I'm really excited about that. We're going to Fall Creek Falls. I've talked a little bit about that. Um, so our last schedule this week will be today and tomorrow because Rach is doing a yard sale with well, Nanobi. And then next week, I think our lives next week. will probably be Monday and Tuesday. Or Tuesday yeah. and Monday and Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Probably Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Next week will be Monday. So thank you guys in advance for the flexibility come the summer months because we have babies and families and places to be and we'll be here with you as much as we can. But thank you for the flexibility always. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we switch stuff around. So yeah. like we'll we've still never promised you any type of schedule, which we've done very intentionally. <laughs> yeah. But we'll still be like the days that we normally are live, we'll have pre-recorded content yeah. for those types of things. You're going we'll to see the same amount. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I miss the craft, but happy to be here. Grizel, are you having fun on your trip? It looks like you're eating lots of amazing food. I'm oh. a little bit jealous. Actually, I'm a lot jealous. I know that Jose picks the best restaurants. Uh, what did Becca say that pen pen tool was? I heard her say it, it was finer. It is finer. It is. Rach can link it for you. I can. I sure yeah. can. Can you show us how to put the offset behind an SVG? Absolutely. So say for instance, are you on camera? I sure am. You're the best, Rachel. Come on back here, buddy. Go back. Go back. Go back. Why would not I go where I wanted to? Say for instance, this layer was not here. This is part of the cut file that I made for you. Say for instance, it's not there. You just pull this in and it looks like this. To put this offset on here, I can show you two ways. You can do it in Illustrator, which is my preference, and then save it. Or you can do it here in Design Space. So here in Design Space, the way that you would do it is select both of the layers, come up to offset, and you're just going to drag and select how big you want that offset. Just like that. Then you have an offset. Super easy, right? Right. If you want to do it in Illustrator, for those of you who have the Illustrator with the flock course, there is an entire video on this, but I'll show you here too. You would just go like this, select both layers, object, path, offset path. And the cool thing about here is you can decide if you want it round or uh, mitered or beveled or something like that. Um, your miter limits. There's a little bit more flexibility here than in design space. Um, and you can just choose like this. And I can leave these separate if I want to, or I can select both of them and unite them together so that I have that offset. So two different ways to offset. Super fun. Offset and design space is one of my favorite things that they have done in the last, what, year and a half, two years. I agree. It was super smart of them to do that. Everything I needed for a project or a live, I would have to give it to Becca for Becca to do in Illustrator. She wasn't willing to teach me how. I'm kidding. But I had to send it to her to do really quickly in Illustrator yeah. and send back to me. And I have, I probably use it every single time I make something. I wear that offset feature out. Maureen, Illustrator is a program, yes. It, um, well, Becca can tell you all about it. Yes, I will tell you all about it. Illustrator is the design program where I make cut files. Um, you, there are lots of different design programs. There's Affinity Designer, there's Silhouette Studios, there is Inkscape. My favorite is Adobe Illustrator. I have learned it. I have taught several courses on it, and we have a course here at Oak and Lamb, but it is everything. I don't need another program in order to create all the cut files. All the cut files that are on the Oak and Lamb website are made in Illustrator. All of the graphics that you see used on our YouTube, on our Facebook page, on our social media in general, on our website, I made in Illustrator. So you can do everything graphic design related in Illustrator that you want. If you are interested in creating your own cut files, we do have that Illustrator course. And the Illustrator course is really amazing because you have to have zero knowledge about graphic design or design programs in order to be successful with this course. It is like an Illustrator for dummies. 
and I teach you literally everything. I spent, like I said, this is the third time I've taught this course and I spent a good amount of time just making cut files here for the, the website. And every time I would make a cut file and do something, make an action, create something, I would write it down so I could remember to teach it all to you all. So there is literally nothing that I do in creating cut files that I have not taught you in this course. Start to finish, you would be a successful cut file creator. Um, there is a purchase or there is a subscription price for Adobe Illustrator, if you are wondering. Um, I pay like $20 a month, but I get the entire suite of, of programs. Um, and if you have a business, you can write that off as a business expense. I personally enjoy creating cut files so much that I consider it a hobby and would not mind spending $20 a month on my hobby. Uh, it's so relaxing to me to make cut files and it's so freeing to be able to see something and want to change it or have this idea in my head for a design and be able to create it. So, so nice not to have to search and pay and do all of that. Um, I can do it myself. So Check it out. Um, what's Marie doing? Off to a winery She's tour. Gonna, yeah. Ooh, fun, Maria. Uh, thank you, Brenda. Have a great day. Yes. Yes, get the Illustrator course. It's for beginners and it'll change your life. Actually, can I? Uh, I hope this person doesn't get mad. I want to show you one of the. I am impressed by this file um, that one of our students made. It is. Gorgeous. Let me find. We have a private Facebook group where we have continued support for Illustrator education. And this is also where we share our designs and things like that. But look at Jen. Jen made this. Look at this cut file, Rachel. She made this cut file what? because she took my course. I don't know, Jen, do you have any, do you have any like pre- did you know about graphic design? Did you do you have like a history of being able to do this, or was this specifically from? That is, it's impressive. Nuts. Like I, I kind of want this file. I'm, I'm not very lie. impressed. It's gorgeous. She did amazing. But the, I mean, this this is all the time. Look, we have all sorts. Uh, Jen did this one too. Jen is good. Jen is probably better than me. She's really good. Yeah. What? She's really good. She killed that. I know. Um, this awesome repeating pattern that Miss Shirley made and then I, they, look, I mean, they are just incredible designers in here and I'm so excited to be walking with them in their design journey and to have taught them a little bit in Illustrator. Um, I just started with Canva and like it. Yes, Canva is fine, but you cannot create SVGs in Canva. You can create PNGs and do some design work in there, but if you ever wanted to save it so that it cuts out in layers in your, or with your die cut machine or laser cutter, then you unfortunately can't do that. So um, it's fun that you're getting your feet wet and learning whether or not you really do like design. So um, it is beautiful, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, are there any other questions that you would like to chat about? Is there anything you want to talk about? Are there any, yeah, Jen did amazing. Oh, you didn't make the corpse bride one? I didn't read it, sorry. Sorry you guys were looking at the comment hole, my bad. Yeah, 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 anyway. Oh, sorry, oh, I, I, I scrolled too quickly, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, it happens. Yeah. Thank you for being here with us. My daughter uses Canva. She makes SVG somehow. Somehow. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. I'll have to look into it. Very cool. Yeah, you're welcome. Absolutely, Maureen. So we will be live tomorrow. Right, Rach, what time are we going live? 1030? 1030, yeah. Rach is making... Do you want to go live any earlier? Can we skedaddle? Any nap times we need to work around? No, 10.30 uh, is probably good because Chap eats at 10. So, okay. Yeah. I expect her to go out tomorrow forgetting that she has all the children in Morristown tomorrow. <laughs> Practically. <laughs> Two of mine will be at school. Yeah. Um. No, but Rachel is making an acrylic keychain inspired by, I think, our flock member. I'm trying to remember if it was Christine. One of our flock members inspired me by we'll it. We'll make sure we know before the live tomorrow yeah. to give credit where credit is due. So cute. It's like this glittery round acrylic keychain with a couple layers of vinyl and some resin. And it's cute, but it's all with Cricut Joy. So I'm excited to show you. 
Um, show us the mini oven. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, I swear. <laughs> Becca, you know, she likes to think that she's not a pushover sometimes. I just don't care. You know, Let me get, tell you. Give the people what they want. Give right? the people what they want. I haven't even opened it. How is that mini? I don't know. It's smaller than the other. Are you sure? I, no, not really. Oh, it looks huge. Come on out. Do you need help? No, I'm going to leave it in there and I'll just take it out of this box. It comes with the glovey glove. Oh. Comes with some heat resistant tape. Love it. Comes with a tray. That's what I said, Kat. She said, that is not mini. Now, the box will take up some room, so we'll see. Yeah, it's mini. It's it's packaged really well. Son Linda, of a gun. first of all, welcome to the channel. We're so glad that you're here. Who? You do, Miss Linda. Yeah. You do have to be a member to get all of our amazing cut files. There is a lot more perks in our membership than just cut files as well. So feel free to peruse on our website and see all there is to take advantage of. We have some incredible courses, free commercial use licensing, a member only Facebook group, and more. Here it is. I don't think that's very many. It's. I'm sorry. It's the same height. I don't think that's so very funny. many at all. That's so funny. Their marketing is many. I think that's the wrong. It's cute. Word. Okay, hold on. It no, is it's adorable. Top to bottom, 15-ish inches. And this one is two. It's the same How height. How is it mini? It's the same height, but this one is. Darn cute. 12 and three quarters, roughly. This one is 16 and a half. So it's a little bit narrow. Four inches? I don't know. Four, four inches difference makes this one mini. It is. <coughs> it's cute. <coughs> I was going to do an unboxing video. Here it is. I'll just slosh this out. Yeah. Cat. I don't think that's the right word. I don't like it as much as the other one looks wise. I think the other one's cuter. I don't. Smells good. Does it? No. What is this? It's like a breadcrumb tray. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to make my toast in that. I assume it goes here. Yeah, I've, I've read, read nothing about this. Either. I assume it goes here. We thinking what it goes our, there what are our first thoughts it feels like quality it feels good i like this i like that let's plug it up now one thing i do not like about the other one is that there's a, a heat for the top and a heat for the bottom i think it's weird no i do like that i don't i do like that what i don't like about it is that it like it doesn't preheat and stay preheated. You have to preheat it and then your time counts down. And if you happen to be doing something and your product isn't in there, then it starts to cool down the once the time is, is over. Yeah. I don't like that. I wish it would just preheat and stay preheated. Let me see uh, if this one does that. Marine, it depends on the size of tumbler, but yeah, you could probably do a tumbler in it. Oh, absolutely. You and could. Grizel, is that an, another sublimation oven? It is. I might like this one better. Kat, aren't you glad with your purchase? I think this is the very first thing we've ever shown on this channel that you're not itching to buy, mostly because you just already have the other one. She has the other one. The other one is great. I don't think, it can't, I have tumblers, but I don't think. Uh, Grizel, it just looks bigger because the other one is in the background and that one's in the This foreground. one doesn't heat from the bottom. It only heats from the top. Oh. Uh, your mom asked a great question, Becca. What's ah. the difference in the price? I don't know. They sent them both to us. I'm gonna look at it. I would have done that research, but I didn't know I was gonna do this. But I don't like that this one doesn't heat from the bottom. Uh, the big one is $2.99 uh, MSRP, and the little one is $2.51. So forty dollars difference. Forty dollars. Spend difference. the forty dollars and get the bigger one. It's yeah, not. Sorry, I'm going off camera so I can grab some tumblers and we can look at. These are the same brand, Grizel, but the price, uh, the price is a little bit different. I, per, I, 
I would just get the big one. Yeah, same. They sent these. Oh my gosh, guys. So on Amazon right now, the PYD Life, the mini one right now that Becca's got on the table is two fifty one, and the bigger one is just two sixty nine on Amazon. So, so like eighteen dollars. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, don't. I mean, if size is an issue, it's not going to be an issue because it's really not that much smaller. different. Yeah. Um, we have a friend here. What brand of card socket are we using? So we use like just a paper pack from Paper Studio. Uh, yeah, from Hobby Lobby, and then we also used Craft Board from Cricut. With Craft with a K. This is a nice tumbler. That screws on, which I appreciate. Instead of just pushes on, Rach, screws Ooh. on. Ooh, we have I four like of those. That. I do like that. Yeah, I do too. I'm trying to see if this will even fit in here. Can't imagine they would. Okay, so it has to be sideways. So you could only do one of these at a time in this. And I'm concerned because it only heats from the top that it would need to be rotated. Wouldn't yes. you think? Yes, it would have to be because it wouldn't be evenly heated. It smells good. It's cute though. It feels really good. I do like these buttons better than those. But overall, I would get that machine over this one. Ooh, there you go. There's the little one. Turn her off. That's warm, it heated up good. I'm cold. My God, I've made a mess in here. Um, the screw on lids are so much better. Yeah, I wish that my one that I'm currently using had a screw on lid. Um, yeah, Grizel, the bigger one's better. For sure. I, I want to look and see why they are even, why they even, I was expecting mini, which you couldn't really put anything in, so it would be sort of pointless, if I'm being honest, but I don't really know why they did this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Maureen, if it had kinked my planes, I wouldn't have done it. It's totally fine. Are there instructions on whether or not you would have, probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it doesn't say to turn it. Put the tumbler in the oven. And guys, I'm going to link that pin pin tool for all of you as well as in the description so that you can see it. It's adorable. Yeah, it doesn't say to turn it. But yeah, I, did you read Diana's comment? No. She said, I use my old air fryer oven and it only heats from the top and I've never rotated it and it comes out perfect. That's okay. That's great to know. So why, does it, why is it even important that that one has top and bottom heating? You're asking some good questions. I mean, heat is heat. Like if, if it has right. to be 400 degrees, it's going to be 400 degrees whether it heated from top and bottom at the same but, time or just the top. But it is hotter depending on where the heat source is coming from. True. Like, you know, in that vis general vicinity. Do you see that one side is like more vibrant than the other? When, yeah. I don't know. I, and these we're real, I'm really, like these are things we'll test out too. It's a great, uh, I love the color too. It's really pretty. It could be a minion. Yes, it could be. Um, yeah, and the mininess, it's so funny. I'm not getting a strong a sublimation of it. I will be strong. I will be strong. It's hard, isn't it? I love it. Uh, I'm just asking, would an a Ninja Foodie Oven Pro work the same? I don't know what that is, but if it is a convection oven, then it would work, yes. But we urge you, we just want to give you the information. Sometimes it's not smart to put food in the same oven that you've put. Yes, have one specifically yeah. for sublimation don't and one for food. Flip flop that. It's not very safe. Melissa, don't remember them saying there might be a giveaway for O and L. Yes, we're giving this one away. This one right or, here. Or am I starting a nasty rumor? No, Did we're going to give that? this one away. I told them when they sent it that I would do it and that they could send it to me, but I was giving it away. And they were like, yeah, absolutely. So you will get to the one used on the live. I got to figure out what that's contingent on. That's going to be, that'll be fun. <clears throat> Me, 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 Melissa, right? It will be, I, this is controversial. We got some hate comments the last time we talked about this, about how that 
people support us in the ways that they can on YouTube and they may not be paying members, but they would also like to be considered for giveaways. And while I get that, I absolutely get that. I also want to honor and um, reward our actual flock members too. So it will probably be for a flock member. Um, we may give it away in a member only video. We'll see what happens. We will do some lives on it. We will talk about, uh, we'll probably do some testing with it. I'll actually research it before we do that. And then we'll probably give it away in a member only video. Uh, just so you know, I don't want that one. Good cat, because you're not getting it. <laughs> Your name's taken out. No, yeah, <laughs> we'll take her all off the roster, out of the, out of the hat. Um, anyway, yes, thank you for being here. Once again, if you have not taken advantage of our $40 off our membership, please do that. Uh, we need members. We need flock members here. We have grown exponentially here on YouTube. Tons. We've gotten almost 5,000 yeah. members in the last, or 5,000 subscribers in the last month, which is amazing. But our membership is not really growing, which would be nice. <laughs> I mean, to, just to be honest, that's got to grow. It has to. It has to grow. If you want this to continue, it has to grow. If you want to yeah. see us here, it has to grow. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, we're going to be shaking cups outside our door or something. And you don't want us to do that. No. So, <laughs> no. So join if you haven't already. I promise if you were on the fence, you would love it. I I mean, we've never been ones to support things you don't believe in. And That's we're true. not biased at all That's about this true. being our own company. But it's such a fun, crafty place to be. And, I mean, if you enjoy our content on YouTube, you will exponentially love what we do over in the Facebook group. You'll love the cut files and the commercial use license, the courses. We're always adding value to that to that amazing membership, and you guys get it for a heck of a deal today. Yes. So along with buying the membership, please also go ahead, subscribe, like the video. It's completely free for you guys to do, and every little bit helps. We are, like, knocking on 25K, and I am so excited. Yeah. Thank you all, by the way. We yes. couldn't do it without you at all. So thank, thank you, you, thank guys. you, thank you. We will be here tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.